Four stroke trail bikes have changed a lot in the past 20 years when they used to mean just slow, boring trail bikes where you just twist the throttle and doesn't go anywhere. But now four stroke trail bikes can be super fast, super powerful. So before you even consider what bike to get, I just want you to consider logic versus ego because ego can get in the way very easily and this can hold you back from having more confidence uh, on trails for example how much power do you actually need to have fun and that's why i want to start by showing you five examples of terrible trail bikes to start out on and this would be the yamaha yz250f four stroke motocross bike the honda crf 250R motocross bike, the KTM 350 XCF cross country enduro bike, the Yamaha WR 450F uh, enduro trail bike, or the KTM 500 EXCF trail bike slash dual sport bike. So if you're just starting out, please stay away from these bikes. Or if you're just getting back into dirt bikes after like 20 plus years and you wanna stay safe because these bikes have a lot of snappy power. I hear it over and over again of guys thinking they can handle more power just by practicing smooth throttle control, but then they end up looping out, they end up uh, getting exhausted and tense up and they lose control because they give it a little bit too much throttle and they fly into a tree or the bike flies out from under them. So all these bikes are gonna be for teens and adults because they have manual clutch transmissions. If you're in the four foot six to five foot four inch height range, you wanna start out on a 125 to 150 cc four stroke air cooled trail bike. This would be the Honda CRF 125, the Yamaha TTR 125, or the Kawasaki KLX 140. Yamaha only has the large wheel version uh, if you're buying new. The Honda has the big wheel and the small wheel, and Kawasaki has three different wheel size options that you can choose from. And the main difference between uh, the big wheel, small wheel, and full size wheels is that obviously the wheel and tire size is different and the bigger wheel and tire you go with, the better handling it has on the trails because the bigger diameter, it rolls over obstacles more easily. But this also means you have more stability because the length of the bike is a little bit longer, uh, you're less likely to wheelie, and the seat height is also about two inches taller, uh, going from a big wheel to a small wheel. All these bikes have really smooth, tame power that are really easy to control, which means that when you're learning how to use the clutch, how to just get going on a dirt bike is really easy, and it inspires confidence because the bike doesn't want to jump out from under you if you give it a little bit too much throttle. And when you have confidence because of the smooth power and the low seat height, this allows you to focus on the basic techniques which will increase your confidence even faster if you're just trying to figure it out on your own. Next moving up to the full size four stroke trail bikes which are good if you're five foot six and taller up to about six foot six two and depending on your inseam length they got the Honda CRF 250F the Kawasaki KLX 230R, and the Yamaha TTR 230. The Yamaha is the only one that still has a carburetor, and it's also the cheapest, and especially if you're uh, trying to buy one used, whereas the Honda and the Kawasaki have fuel injection, which they start a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about messy jets, but they do cost a little bit more. They're all super reliable. They all have very similar power, and they're noticeably bigger and heavier, but more stable than the smaller 125s 140s that I previously talked about. And all of these are beginner friendly trail bikes that have plush suspension. So when you're riding at slow speeds, you're just starting out, uh, it, they absorb the bumps, the impacts a lot better than a race bike, which allows you to ride longer because you're not getting jerked around from this stiff, harsh suspension. Or if you're looking for a cheaper beginner used bike, I got a video on the best cheap used uh, trail bikes for beginners right here. Hey honey. And if you're a bigger, taller guy, unfortunately there's no perfect bike if you're like six foot two or taller because most bikes are made for like 5'10 to six foot tall riders. But I will recommend the Kawasaki KLX 300R. That's gonna be your best bet for a 
starter bike uh, if you're taller or bigger because it's a little bit wider, it's a little bit longer, which means it's a little bit more stable, and it has a little bit more power than the 230 or 250 cc, but it's still smooth, very tame and controllable, and the suspension is still nice and plush. Then moving on to the more advanced level bikes or the race bikes, uh, if you want a trail bike that can ride faster without getting bogged down by not enough power, or not enough suspension. You can look at the enduro bikes, which are like the Yamaha WR250F, the KTM 250XCFW, or now the XWF. All these different names are super confusing, but these bikes are based on the motocross race bikes, but they're tuned down to have a little bit smoother power, the suspension is a little bit softer, and the transmission has uh, wider gear ratios. So you got lower first gear, second gear, uh, to do slower riding, technical riding, where the higher gears, third through fifth or sixth gear, are a little bit more spaced out so that you don't have to do as much shifting and you can cruise at higher speeds if you're riding down gravel roads. And while they require a little bit more maintenance than the air-cooled beginner bikes that I talked about, they're still fairly reliable and you could probably get at least a couple hundred hours if you're just a casual rider and you're doing the regular maintenance of changing oil, uh, oil filter and air filter and you're not bouncing off the rev limiter all the time and if you're looking for the most aggressive four stroke race bikes that have just as much power as the motocross bikes but you want a little bit softer suspension a little bit more manageable manageable for the woods or trail riding you can look at the honda crf 250x the yamaha yz 250 fx uh, or the 450 fx the Kawasaki KX250X or like the KTM 250XCF. All these bikes are tuned for racing so they have maximum power that are hard to control if you're a beginner or if you're riding tight technical trails but if you're more out in the open maybe out in the desert or fast flowy trails and you really like that snappy power the stiffer suspension for racing uh, or riding at high speeds, th these are the bikes to get. And if you are a newer beginner or novice trail rider just starting out, congratulations. Welcome to the off-road community. I want to help you become a confident rider so that you don't have to worry about being afraid of crashing and getting hurt. I want to give you a free guide. It's my basic techniques guide that shows you how to stay in control. You can go to motocrosshideout.com slash free lessons or click the link in the description below. I'm Kelly Fager from Motocross Hideout. Learn more, ride more.